hello everyone welcome to my channel so this is going to be my crystal collection up to date so last year i did my full crystal collection on youtube i will link it in the description box and i will tag it at the end of the video as well if you want to check that out my collection has changed dramatically since my last collection video i have adopted a lot of crystals out of my collection and i've also brought a lot of new high quality ones in so I have some new carvings, towers, spears, rough pieces, as well as palm stones. So give this video a thumbs up if you prefer this to my last crystal collection. And don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date to my latest videos as I will be doing a lot more crystal ones as well as tarot. I'm so excited to show you my crystal quartz garden. Um, it's one of my favourites, so I'm going to go into full detail with all of the crystals, show you up close, and I will mention some of the minerals that are also inside some of the crystals. So I'm going to go straight into showing you my collection right now, so let's get started. I'm going to start with my statement pieces, or my kind of favourite pieces, which is on this shelf. So this is an amethyst with flower agate. Um, as you can see it's got really beautiful flowers and I think it even has some pink amethyst in here as well. So you can see this is the pink amethyst here. But this is a beautiful tower. It's got so much beautiful purple amethyst in. So yeah, this is a amazing favourite piece of mine. So then I have this large pink amethyst spear and she's absolutely beautiful. So pink amethyst comes as a result of inclusions of hematite within the crystalline structure. So I think we've got some golden healer here as well and she's got druzy bits. She's so sparkly under the light. Um, I have this amazing um, amethyst quartz tower. Now just look at the banding on this. Got these like salmon-y pink stripes running down. Um, she's filled with beautiful rainbows. I mean she has a quartz back so she doesn't have an agate back. She's got full quartz. Like this is special. She's so heavy. Um, yeah, I really do love this um, large amethyst. Next, I have this um, blue agate. So this is blue flower agate um, with a massive druzy bit down here. And this is a favourite towel because it's so unique. The druzy is kind of like this gorgeous kind of grey colour. And it has the most beautiful flower patterns all around. Like, look at this. How incredible. I love flower agate. I have a soft spot for flower agate, but it's just the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful flower agates I've ever seen. So I absolutely love this piece. It's so unique. Then I have this um, blue agate um, spear with amethyst in the middle. So she has an amethyst mouth with lots of rainbows. So super pretty. I just love the combination of blue and purple. I just think the banding is amazing and yeah I love this piece. Then I have this amazing um, blue agate uh, quartz tower. So as you can see the banding here is amazing. Like look at that. How is that even natural? It's incredible. And then we can see there are so many rainbows here. I'm a, I'm a sucker for quartz. Quartz is my favourite. Um, she's got druzy here. More rainbows. Wow, look at those rainbows. <laughs> and then again, all the way around with the druzy. So she is amazing. Then I have this amazing piece of natural untreated citrine. So as you can see, there is so many rainbows in this piece. And the clarity is like crystal clear. 
Um, wow, look, can you see this? My crystals have rainbows in, I didn't even know there were certain rainbows in certain places. So natural citrine is super rare. Um, it's hard to come by these days because um, uh, most citrines are heat treated. So it's heat treated amethyst, but this is natural citrine. So as you can see the color is soft. It's like a champagne-y light um, yellowish color. So it's not that kind of, um, I'll show you an example here. This is a heat treated. So as you can see it's like more orangey, um, yeah, like bright orangey yellow kind of burnish kind of color whereas you can see the difference with natural citrine so they're really hard to get so um, if you do have citrine and it's natural just keep it in your collection forever because they're going to be super hard to get hold of um, I think they're getting mined out or something like that so then I have this amazing um, sodalite tower from Brazil so Brazilian sodalite is the best because um, it's such high quality and as you can see it has this effect here this shimmery kind of um, like Labradorite effect so the effect is called the Skila effect um, I hope that said that right so this effect is what causes the flash in Labradorite so even though the effect is not as pronounced as in Labradorite it creates the appearance of a silvery uh, shimmer in the stone. So this is an incredible soda light. How pretty is this? So then I have this amazing golden healer um, high quality tower and it has lots and lots of rainbows in and it also has um, forms of dendritic in here as well as you can see here. So golden healer is also known as gold quartz um, it is a clear quartz crystal that has natural inclusions of golden or yellow iron oxide minerals. So the dendritic patterns in this crystal is caused by fern-like inclusions of iron, manganese or other metallic oxides known as dendrites. So when materials crystallize or solidify under certain conditions, they freeze unstably, resulting in dendritic forms. So then I have this really beautiful um, dark fluorite uh, with lots and lots of rainbows. And what's interesting about this fluorite, it has um, manganese in it, which is really rare to find in fluorite. So as you can see, all of these patterns. This is the manganese in the fluorite. And what I love about this is so spooky. It's such a spooky looking crystal. It just has a magical vibe about it. So I have another flora and as you can see, I'm obsessed with rainbows. Any crystals with rainbows in pretty much have to be in my collection. Um, so this is like a bluey green flora, um, super large. So it's definitely like a statement piece and just has the most beautiful patterns and forms in this crystal you can see all the beautiful rainbows running through it so absolutely stunning so next i have this amazing piece of mosaic quartz and it is a mixture of minerals that consists of clear and smoky quartz hematite opal um, manganese granite chalcedony, orange calcite, graphite and red aventurine. So as you can see this is all the red aventurine here. Um, it's quite prominent in this crystal which I love. But what's super rare about this piece is it has amethyst in it. So normally it just has quartz in but this mosaic chalcedony quartz has amethyst in. Now anything that has amethyst in I go crazy for. So um, this is super rare, um, super rare because of the amethyst, it's super large and it just, the stripe going down the middle, this is insane, like this is an incredible crystal collector's piece, so yeah I'm absolutely so happy I have this one. 
So then I have this amazing high quality Brazilian amethyst and what I love about Brazilian amethyst is the quality because as you can see the purple is so deep, so sparkly and uh, it has lots of like little rainbows down the side. And it kind of looks like a little a pyramid or a Christmas tree, but at the back, it has a really lovely druzy back. And I love the fact this is on a stand. It's, it just looks lovely standing on my shelf. Then I have this amazing um, pink crazy lace agate. And this is druzy. So as you can see, you've got this sugary druzy cave here. I mean, look at that. So I absolutely love the pattern and the banding of this. I'll just show you all the way around so you can see. But yeah, she's amazing. So then I have another pink amethyst. So this one is um, a bit darker than the first one I showed you. This one's a bit more of a brownie colour with more of a lilac druzy of the amethyst in the centre here. Um, but again, super heavy, a massive piece, lots of drusiness going on. I mean, look at this. I could play around with these all day and just, you know, trying to find all the sparkles in them. So, yeah, as you can see, this is that one. And then this was the more pinkish one. So I love the fact I've got two kind of different ones. So I have a selenite tower because I think every crystal... Collector has a selenite in their collection. It's a very um, amazing stone to surround your other crystals for self-cleansing um, and charging. And yeah, I just stand this on top of the shelf above all these crystals. I have this amazing um, raw rough piece of rose quartz. I love the colour. This is kind of like quite a um, strong pink colour, I would say but super gemmy, it's like a gemmy rose quartz um, and I do love my rough pieces as well as my smooth pieces so I do really love this large rose quartz so moving on to the carvings that I have um, I've started to collect a lot more crystal carvings because I just think it's super clever and amazing that they can carve shapes from crystals this is um, one hell of an expensive piece, but it definitely was an amazing investment. This is a skull that is made from amethyst and flower agate. So as you can see, the flower agate has the most amazing flower agate pans here. And as you can see, we've got like the quartz uh, amethyst. And as you can see, it actually has pink amethyst as well. So it's not just amethyst with flower agate, it actually has pink amethyst, so I was super happy about that. As you can see, more pink amethyst here. But look how amazing this is. And it has so many rainbows as well. So, and at the bottom it has like a druzy cave here. So this piece is, it's just, it, it's phenomenal, like, I'm so happy to have this um, in my collection. So on the theme of pink amethyst, I also have this amazing pink amethyst bird. Now look at her rainbows here. This is like a druzy part. Oh, I just, I love the coloration of this. I was looking for a bird for a long time. What I love about this one is it actually looks like she has an eye. It looks like a dot of an eye and then her beak is a different colour. So I love that she kind of has a distinct face going on. Um, and then if I turn her around, again, amazing. And again, you can see her face that she's got like a crystal eye so yeah I was looking for the perfect bird because I'm obsessed with birds uh, definitely my spirit animal so I love this pink amethyst bird so then I have this beautiful pink amethyst butterfly 
a nice druzy part here. This has the most incredible patterns. Um, I love butterflies and, and with the most incredible blue formations here, which could be blue lace agate or blue agate, but it's absolutely beautiful. So if I turn her round, this is her back. So I just love pink amethyst because it always has the most amazing patterns. So next I have this beautiful cat, so it's an amazing key. And again I was looking for the right cat for ages because I wanted her to have some kind of lilacness to her because I love um, lilac point ragdoll cats. So she's got like this kind of lilac stripes here and this towel with the most incredible druzy here with all the amethyst. Really nice swells, and then I turn her around, and then this is the back. So she has rainbows in as well. But yeah, I think this is probably the best cat I've ever seen, or what I've tried to shop for anyway. So then I have this quartz agate tower. So you can see we have this beautiful butterfly made from um, agate. And this kind of looks like a heart got another butterfly on the top and then this is all the quartz here so amazing piece I just absolutely love the way these butterflies are carved so I have another skull and this one is a smaller one but this is a flora and I love the way the pattern is that goes down here to the mouth but what's so amazing about this flora is this part here as you see, it has the most incredible rainbows and silver shimmeriness going on in this bubble. So it's almost like the brain is full of like rainbows and I just knew I had to have this skull when I saw this because you can see the rainbow goes down the collarbone, the cheekbone, sorry. Um, yeah, I could do, again, I could do this all day, just play around with the flash in the brain <laughs> so yeah I love the fact it has an amazing bubble piece around that side so then I have this really cute ghost so this is a lavender fluoride um, also known as yttrium fluoride um, again if I pronounce anything wrong um, please be kind so yeah I just love the fact it's like half green translucent green and then it has the kind of lavender colour on this side so really cute ghost I love hedgehogs and I have this really cute look at her face oh wow look how beautiful her face is <laughs> yeah so this is a really nice flora hedgehog so yeah I love my animals uh, I have a green moss agate leaf gorgeous pans in this I have this flower agate sun and this flower agate um, snowflake. I have this rose quartz paw print. And then I also have this amazing um, lab flashy Labradorite turtle. I love tortoises. So she has an amazing flashy shell. And then last of the crystal carvings I have this really cute frog. So this is an agate and it has a really beautiful spotty back. So I have this um, onyx bowl uh, where I just pop some little spears in. So I have an amethyst in here. So these spears are great to kind of carry around with you or to meditate with. Um, I've got a couple of tiger's eyes. I have um, blue lace agate. I have this optical calcite spear. And then I have these garden quartz or lodolite crystals. And tiny moss agate. Again, some of these are gifted, so just some of them have just some random stuff everywhere. But um, yeah, these are incredible teardrops that have the most beautiful purple and red colours. Um, so in here I just have some shungite. Um, 
just pieces of shungite in here. I have this selenite bowl. And this, these are all my crystals I had as a child. Um, not this one, but most of them. I have, yeah, these crystals are, I had ever since I was like um, 11, 11 or 12. Um, so I'll go through those. But I have this amazing um, pink lithium. And I love pink lithium. It's amazing for anxiety. And as you can see, this is a special one because she has... Um, an incredible rainbow here. So hopefully my camera can pick this up, but she has um, an amazing rainbow going all around there, around the edge. There you go, you can see it there. So she is an amazing piece. She almost looks like a heart. So this is just all clear quartzes at the bottom that I've placed. Um, but as you can see, we have um, clear quartz, hematite, amethyst, um, aventurine, red jasper, rose quartz, um, snow quartz, blue lace agate, unikite, snowflake obsidian, tiger's eye, and um, heat treated uh, citrine but yeah these are just really special to me because I've had these for more than 20 years so um, super special crystals these tumbles so I'm first going to start with the crystal house that's in the crystal garden um, I absolutely love this crystal house it's so unique I haven't really seen any crystal houses and it looks like a spooky old house so I love that and then you turn it round and then this is where the amazing needle form quartz formations are. I mean, look at this. So how incredible is this? I absolutely love this piece. This amazing clear quartz cut diamond. So this is made from clear quartz. And she has a rainbow as you can see there. So clear quartzes are my favourite. Which is why I have a clear quartz crystal garden. Because it is my favourite crystal. Um, I would say opal. Like Australian um, boulder opal. And clear quartzes are my favourite. This amazing clear quartz with dendritic formations in. And you can see how thick the dendritic is in this. Um, it's quite a small piece, but I just love the prominent, dominant forms of the tree-like formations. And it also has a rainbow in as well. Um, clear quartz with rue tiles as you can see here there is really fine needles of rue tile within this quartz but I love the fact it's not foggy I love my clear quartz to be um, really kind of crystal clear and this is an amazing piece so these inclusions are mostly look golden but they can also look silver, copper, red or deep black so rutilated quartz is a variety of quartz containing needle-like inclusions of rutile, uh, which is a mineral composed primarily of titanium dioxide um, with large amounts of iron oxide. So next I have this amazing um, facetted uh, quartz. And what I love about this one, this probably has the most insane rainbows in I've ever seen. Um, I'll just show you. All of this is rainbows. So this crystal has just got heavy, heavy rainbows. <laughs> Next I have this amazing sugar quartz. So sugar crystals feature tiny and delicate crystals that are attached to the sides of the main crystal, which basically causes these kind of tiny sugar coating um, look on the crystal. 
so it gives it a really sparkly effect as you can see when you tilt it look how glisten this is so i love sugar quartz so next i have this amazing crackle quartz um which again has lots of rainbows in so crackle quartz um is a crystalline quartz that has been um heat treated so it's basically they usually heat rock crystal or slightly translucent quartz to a temperature of like a high um, temperature basically and then suddenly quench it in cold water and that's what creates the um, sudden shock of the cracks in the crystal so I just turn the light off just so you can see the rainbows because I'm noticing the rainbows are quite hard to show up on um, the camera So then I have this amazing Vel quartz. So it kind of looks like um kind of like a jelly formation. It's kind of um quite clear. But it has these really nice formations on top. So it has had the name of like wedding Vel quartz. And um these are from Brazil that are hand carved like this. And this one has a ton of rainbows, so I'm gonna try and pick them up. So I have this beautiful natural um, rough piece of quartz, so this is a raw natural mineral. It's so druzy, so sparkly, and this quartz is actually like super white as well. So I just love the fact this is just a natural piece. I have this amazing clear quartz free form with golden healer but also this is green tourmaline here. So this beautiful strip here is green tourmaline which is super rare. Um, green tourmaline is super rare in clear quartz so this is a absolutely stunning piece. Um, so beautiful so next is my favorite piece of quartz because it's so unique i've never seen anything like this so as you can see it has these amazing formations of these kind of like stripes this kind of stripey band in with the most insane rainbows so it just really is absolutely beautiful I feel like the camera isn't doing it justice, but it's so frosty, and look, look at that. I have no idea how, if this is natural, if it's like created this way with the straps, but it's just um, amazing. So then I have this amazing Lodalite quartz, also known as... Um, garden quartz and what I love about this is it's so clear in clarity because a lot of garden quartzes can be quite misty but I love the fact that this is so clear you can really see right through it and it has the amazing kind of formations of like triangles almost like these pyramids growing inside the crystal I mean look how insane the patterns are in this so the inclusions in this consist of um, chlorite, field spa, and other materials that give different coloured inclusions. I just think it's amazing how this is formed inside the crystal. So then I have this amazing rare piece of clear quartz that has lithium and amethyst in. So it has a amethyst root here as you can see and then this is the clear quartz and then it has lithium inside this as well. So it's a super powerful crystal to have all three combined. So it has a unique amethyst root here, which is so unique. And then it has lots of rainbows as well. So I have this um, Lemurian light quartz. 
So the Lemurian light crystals are super clear in clarity. Um, and they have these really cool kind of um, barcode inclusions in them. So if I put it there, you will see it. And then when you rub them, you can really feel the um, barcodes on this crystal. So um, Lemurians are really special. So Lemurian quartz crystals are meant to hold a lot of power and knowledge. So they're great to meditate with. And I had a crazy dream when I put this under my pillow. But yeah, um, I won't go full into detail because this is just showing you my collection. I have this really special record keeper crystal. As you can see, a record keeper basically means that there will be a triangle shape on the face of the quartz crystal. So if you can see that triangle there, that is kind of like engraved into the crystal, but it's all meant to be naturally formed. So the record keeper crystals are similar to the Lemurian crystals because again, they are basically believed to access information that has been stored within the crystal. So some people think that they represent data or information in plants or are actually within the stone itself and then you can access this through meditation. So I had to get a, um, a record keeper for my collection. So the last clear quartz I have is this amazing huge clear quartz tower and again it's just full of amazing rainbows, um, beautiful inclusions, um, beautiful clarity. And yeah, if you're a Clear Quartz fan, then you will understand um, my obsession, why I love Clear Quartz so much, and this tower that is absolutely beautiful. So on my Tarot Altar workstation, I have my Clear Quartz sitting here. So this is not in the Crystal Garden. This is literally um, on my work desk. And as you can see, she has so many beautiful rainbows and amazing inclusions. As you can see here, this looks like a heart. Um, yeah, so I think if you're going to get a crystal ball, it's super important to have lots of amazing inclusions within the crystal. So as you can see, this is super large. It's a super big um, clear crystal quartz. And this probably is one of my favourite um, crystals I own as well. As you can see, all the rainbows here. So moving on to my palm stone tray. So these are the crystals I basically use to meditate with because they are really good size and shape to fit in my hand. So I've just popped them in this tray. So I'm gonna start with showing you my absolute favorite. So this palm stone is a carnelian, but if you can see here, it kind of looks like blood splatter. So I do like my kind of horror films, the vampires and all that kind of creepy stuff. So this kind of crystal is like right up my street. Um, it's just, it just has the most beautiful circular um, red patterns. And hopefully you can see these sparkles here. It has the most pretty, druzy, sparkly, quartzy bits here. So it's such a unique... A uh, piece of carnelian. I've never seen anything like this. So I have a clear quartz palm stone. It has the most beautiful inclusions in this palm stone. So as you can see, it's very clear this side, but then it has so much uh, going on on the other side, like inclusions. So this didn't go in the crystal garden only because. Um, it's a palm stone, so I do meditate with this one. And as you can see, it has a beautiful rainbow here as well. Um, I have this amazing flower agate palm stone with the most huge flower. I mean, this flower, you cannot miss it. It's so big. So um, I just loved the distinctiveness of this huge flower. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's just a lovely sized palm stone. And obviously I love my flower gate. Um, then I have this amazing Lepidolite um, puffy heart. 
So what's really special about this heart is it does have a speckle of blue tourmaline, I believe. Um, so blue tourmaline is pretty rare. And um, this, again, Lepidola is really good for stress and anxiety. So I love having this heart as my meditation stone. And it also has lots of smoky quartz in this as well. So then I have this angelite palm stone. So it's a beautiful powdery blue colour. Some um, angelites have white um, chalky inclusions. Um, my one has this rusty brown reddish inclusion which could be spots of iron or hematite. So, so the next crystal I have is this um, anandalite. So you will see it has this aura coating effect to it. Now this is actually all natural. So isn't this amazing that this is actually natural? All these kind of um, purpley blue colours you're seeing are actually natural aura. So andalite is a variety of quartz and it occurs as clusters of small points um, arising from a greyish chalcedony base. So this quartz displays iridescent reflections like rainbows from just under the surface of its crystal points. Um, I have this amazing pink banded onyx heart. Um, I just love the pink variations in this onyx. Um, I feel like the colours go so well together and I love this to meditate with. It has a really beautiful soft energy and as Celestia. Again, I'm really drawn to blue crystals because of the soft um, energy to the colour. So I really would recommend one of these. Um, I have this really interesting ocean jasper palm stone. And it has the most amazing druzy here, as you can see. It has druzy here and also a druzy here. I love the white and the red combination here. So this is a super pretty ocean jasper. Um, I have this um, a gate crystal which actually has a anhydro here. So an anhydro is basically when there is um, ancient water trapped underneath. So it's really hard to show the water bubble moving. Um, but it does have this amazing engraved um, leaf on the back. Um, I have this beautiful um, green moss a gate cube uh, with the most amazing druzy and um, formations. So it's a form of chalcedony um, which includes minerals of a green colour embedded in the stone. So creating these patterns that look like moss. Um, I have this beautiful fire quartz. Um, which is also known as hematoid quartz and as you can see it has a massive rainbow um, here. Um, I feel like this stone is so magical, I'm really drawn to it. So it contains both the um, properties of quartz with the balance um, of hematite in it as well. Yeah she has insane rainbows in her. Then I have this um, high quality amethyst. So this amethyst has tons of rainbows in and as you can see the clarity is crystal clear. So it's a super high quality um, rainbow amethyst. So then I have this pink amethyst double terminated point. So you've got the beautiful um, amethyst patterns here, the formations, and it has a quartz window up here. So what's special about this is it actually has a amazing rainbow. So as you can see the rainbow here. Like, how amazing is the shea? I call it my crystal shea, <laughs> by the way. 
yeah absolutely beautiful so i have this i think which is a sardinux uh crystal so it has really nice a uh, stripy band in um i have this flat um double-sided flora so i won this in a crystal live <laughs> the only ever crystal live um giveaway i've ever won so she's kind of special um, I have a selenite um, wand. Um, I just keep this in here, really. Um, I have lots of selenite, to be honest. I always have selenite, basically, all around my house. Um, then I have this amazing Witch's Finger Quartz. So, Witch's Finger is a rare type of quartz that has inclusions of iron, feldspar, calcite, zircon, and muscovite. So it's a variant of spirit quartz um, and it does have beautiful sparkly bits on it. So the strange bumps on them um, is what gives it the name of Witch's Finger because they're meant to be like Witch's Waltz. <laughs> so it's kind of gross but I absolutely love it. Obviously I love all my spooky stuff. So the last crystal in here is this um, Ethiopian Opal. This has to be my favourite crystal ever, okay, um, look at the colours in this, opal is my favourite, and look at the fiery red, I love the fact this is a unique opal because it has like these kind of leopard print spots in it, um, lots of different kind of patterns and inclusions, and it's a very large opal, like I got this um, at a very good price, but it's definitely my favourite piece ever because it's insane. Like, I've never seen an opal um, like this before. Moving on to my spears, I have this beautiful pink amethyst with a flower agate. So it has the most beautiful flower patterns. And she is so sparkly and druzy. Then I have this amazing um, peach moonstone with smoky quartz and you can see the amazing flash in this one and I love the fact this one looks really kind of stripy. I have a druzy flower agate. which has the nicest druzy pocket, it's so sparkly. Then I have a, um, a rainbow moonstone spear um, with a really beautiful blue flash. And I have this amazing smoky quartz, which has so many rainbows in. Super beautiful, lots of inclusions. It has a lighter side to this side, and then it has the deeper colour on this side. So then I have a load of light or garden quartz. And this one looks like a little forest. It literally looks like acorns here. <laughs> and then a little forest so then I have this amazing rose quartz and look at the colour of this it's so so pink and she does have rainbows in but this is actually a star rose quartz um, so hopefully my camera can pick up the star so I've just turned the light off just so you can see the amazing star. You can see it so much better now. This is incredible. So this is a really high quality um, star rose quartz. So then I have this amazing ocean jasper spear. And she has the most insane colours running through her. She really does have this beautiful 
golden druzy pocket here um yeah i really love the colors in this one but what i love most is um the fact that she seems to have um a bit of blue lace a gate going on here then i have this purple a labradora you can see it's the most beautiful purple flash in I have this amazing black tourmaline spear that has um, beautiful flashes in. So I've just turned the ring light off just so you can see a bit better the silver flash. So it's quite rare to get black tourmaline with silver flashes in because they normally are matte crystals with not much shimmer. So I'm super happy that this has like a golden silvery shimmer to it. So I have this amazing spear that is a combination of amethyst with purple and pink agate and it also has pyrite inclusions. You see this is the amethyst and then you've got the beautiful banding and then you do have the pyrite inclusions at the back here. Which you will see the shiny pieces are the pieces of pyrite. Then I have this beautiful um, blue kyanite, which has a beautiful flash here. Then I have this beautiful bloodstone, and this has a flex of pyrite in. So I just love the red in this. So you can see the specks of pyrite here. And this part here. Then I have this amazing pink charite, and as you can see it has this beautiful silver flash. Right there. Oh, this is just stunning it's so kind of shimmery and um, I'm not sure if this is aquamarine or not but um, some people say it has aquamarine in so moving on to the first set of towers so I'm gonna start with showing you my mosaic quartz so I did show you my amethyst mosaic quartz earlier um, I absolutely love this crystal this beautiful pattern here this actually looks like a diamond shape um, in the crystal with a rainbow so I love the pattern it's literally outlined like someone's drawn on it I love the patterns and there's the yellow opal so I love this one next we have um, super seven so super seven actually has seven different minerals in it so making it a super powerful crystal it has amethyst, rutal, smoky quartz, quartz, caxoxanite, gophite, and uh, lipidocrochite. So I love the kind of dark burgundy colour of this crystal and it does have all seven minerals in. Um, I love the amethyst bottom, it's super gemmy. But yeah, Super 7 is an absolutely beautiful, deep crystal. So then I have a Labradorite. Now, I love Labradorite. I'm a big fan because it's super flashy. I love flashy crystals. And I love this one, the variation of the colours that go down into the bottom, which has this really beautiful um, pinky purple colour at the bottom. So then I have another Labradorite which is an electric blue flash. So it's just blue. Um, I have this amazing um, Amazonite crystal um, which also has purple mica and smoky quartz in this. So as you can see this flash here, this is the purple mica. 
I love crystals that combine different minerals in one because it just makes the crystal um, even more powerful, even more beautiful. So yeah, I love this Amazonite. Um, I have this blue fluorite, so it's like a greeny blue colour. Um, really nice kind of patterns and inclusions. And then I have this um, pre night, and this one is just super sparkly. So then I have the um, Amethyst Lace Agate, which is a new uh, crystal combination. And it does have um, Amethyst, Pink and Purple um, Lace Agate, as well as Pirate Inclusions. So um, I did show you a spear of this earlier, but it's a super interesting crystal. So then I have a pink moss agate. So she has amazing druzy caves. I love, look at her patterns. So this is pink moss. Beautiful pinky mauvey kind of colour. So then I have this dyed um, agate crystal. So I don't usually like dyed crystals, but I did actually buy one exactly like this when I went on holiday and then I somehow, I must have obviously got it in the sun on the window ledge and um, all the colour went and it was just a plain uh, quartz agate crystal. So um, I wanted to kind of get it again because I just really loved the colour. So as you can see it's a deep blue, druzy. She's so small and cute. So yeah, this is probably my only dyed crystal. Then I have Blue Lace Agate. Now Blue Lace Agate is one of my favourite crystals as well. Um, I'm going to list in the description bar below my top 5 to 10 crystals so you get a rough idea of what my favourite crystals are. But I've always connected with Blue Lace um, Agate so I love this tower. I have this amazing Peruvian pink opal um, from Peru and I just love the colours of this. Um, I think these are the best pink opals in my opinion um, because they have more variations of colours in them which really complement the pink so absolutely love this um, pink opal tower. So then I have a pink amethyst. There's a really nice druzy bit down here. And she has lots of um, sparkles. I have this amazing crystal clear rose quartz. So you can see as I turn her in the light, she's so crystal clear and gemmy. And I really do love um, crystal clear rose quartzes rather than cloudy rose quartz. So as you can see, oh, look at that. Just such good quality. So then I have a rose quartz with dendritic formations in. Now what I love about this one because she's so different looking, it's like she has a stripe going down her base, doesn't she? But this is all the dendritic, um, as you can see here, in her. So there is the tree-like formations. Um, it's super rare. I think it's hard to get dendritic in like rose quartz and that. So um, this one is a super special one. Then I have this pink um, Aragonite. Really soft, milky pale colour. And I just like she, the fact that she's not just plain, she does have some kind of um, interesting kind of colours, deeper pinks in her as well. So then I have this sunstone with beautiful flashes in. As you can see when you reflect the light, you can see all the iridescent. 
I have this amazing scholar site tower and what I love about this one is it kind of looks like a sunflower here beautiful patterns peachy orangey colors and again it kind of looks like a sunflower here with a lot of shimmeriness in her as well so yeah I kind of like display her like this I have this beautiful carnelian with the most stunning red fiery colours. Um, I really love carnelian. I think this is a really beautiful, um, rich piece. Then I have um, lilac amethyst. So as you can see, the colour is super pale, like a lavender light lilac-y colour so I just like the fact this is a different colour to my other amethysts so then I have smoky amethyst so smoky amethyst is a combination of amethyst and smoky quartz so as you can see you've got quartz amethyst and smoky quartz here so it often includes um, uh, phantoms or a distinct kind of patch going across like a stripe so this is really, really beautiful. And then I have this um, flower agate with amethyst in. So you can see the purple amethyst running through all the way. And it's just a really cute tower with a really beautiful flower here. So then I have this black amethyst with really beautiful flowers in. So black amethyst is really hard to get hold of. Um, this one's more like a grey black. But if I show you the colour difference, you can see how dark she is. So just showing you next to a pink flower gate so you can see how beautiful and dark this flower gate is. Then I have this Kunzite Tower with um, a rainbow here. And this Kunzite Tower actually has a combination of pyrite in as well. So it's Kunzite with pyrite. Then I have this Grape Agate, which looks like little grapes. And this is the smooth version of Grape Agate. So really purple. So then I have purple Sherawite. Uh, very hard to pronounce. Um, beautiful flex in this crystal. Absolutely love the patterns of this crystal so much. So then I have Dream Amethyst, which is also known as Chevron Amethyst which is basically a combination of amethyst and white quartz. So it has amazing banding and these kind of V-like shapes in it. So I absolutely love the pattern of this um, amethyst. So then I have this really pretty Tiffany stone, which is also called opalized fluorite. So it's made up of fluorite with smaller amounts of opal, calcite, Dolomite quartz, chalcedony, uh, brodronite, and other materials. So I have this beautiful strawberry quartz tower, and what I love is the patterns on this really does look like a strawberry effect of a real fruit, like little pips. So um, I really love this one. It's so unique, and it's really sparkly as well. Strawberry quartz is amazing if you put it out in the, the sunlight it really does sparkle so then i have pyrite which is also known as fool's gold so this is a really sparkly druzy tower and i love pyrite um it reminds me of being a child um and collecting pyrite at legoland so again i just really do love pyrite I have this beautiful pink amethyst, which is a kind of lilac-y colour, this one. Really beautiful colours. And really sparkly. 
I have this amazing agate crystal, this quartz agate, which has the most sparkly cave here. So she is amazing. You can see this is all the quartz and then all the agate. So then I have um, the flower agate, which is my pink flower agate. Beautiful kind of green eye up here. Ah, the colour in this is stunning. She's got a druzy cave here. And another green dot up here. So, yeah, I just feel like this flower agate is quite unique. Um, very rich pink colour. And she actually has um, a little baby. <laughs> so this one, um, super crystally here. But even though it's tiny, it has the most perfect flowers and mint green colours. Um, as you can see, how sparkly and quartzy this one is. Oh, she's just so adorable. So yeah, it's like mum, mum and baby. <laughs> then I have purple Labradorite in tower form, which was quite hard to get hold of. But you can see the amazing purple flash again I'm a big fan of Labradorite whoa look at that it's like a pinky purpley colour um, so so beautiful then I have this beautiful pink tourmaline which has bits of um, mica in um, some lapidolite It's a really pretty piece of um, pink tourmaline. I have this watermelon flora. So watermelon flora is basically pink flora that has um, like a sea blue green base at the bottom. So um, I just love how pink she is, especially if you put in the sunlight, she really is like magenta pink those rainbows then I have this amazing crazy lace agate so this is Mexican crazy lace agate um, which has the most beautiful colors and band in so just giving you an up close look at this I mean look I have no words nature is incredible so this is a small rhodochrosite tower and what I love about this is it has a bow here, like a bow detail in the pattern. Kind of looks like love hearts here doesn't it? And um, it does have a bit of pyrite in here. So it's a really beautiful piece of rhodochrosite. I have this beautiful green moss agate with so much quartz druzy in this. As you can see, she's got a beautiful crystal cave up here. Now, I feel like green moss agate is so fascinating. So many gorgeous patterns. So then I have this amazing um, Phosphosiderite, it's super hard to pronounce this one. Uh, I love the colour, this is such a deep lilac -y purple colour and I love the veiny patterns in this. So these kind of yellow patches are in inclusions of cacoxanites. I have this amazing Andean blue opal from Peru. What I love about this, it has this kind of lilac-y pinky colour here, which I've never seen before. So I'm not quite sure what this mineral is. Um, if you know, comment below. It could be a form of um, a jasper. Um, but it has incredible inclusions and really deep kind of greeny blue colours in this. Um, I have this really beautiful purple opal which has um, dendritic formations inside. This is a stunning piece, 
beautiful colours in this. I just love the soft lilac colour. Then I have this amazing Caribbean calcite, which literally looks like a beach. You know, you've got the sea or the sky and then you've got like the sand here. So stunning piece. Um, basically, this is a light ocean blue calcite and the light brown and white is aragonite. So then I have this amazing, super rare um, Udalite Tower. Now I probably pronounced this wrong, but um, it has this beautiful kind of ruby rich kind of red colour up here. And I love this crystal because it looks super spooky. It has a really spooky feel to it. So obviously I like my spooky crystals. Then I have this amazing black amethyst which has a really druzy part here as well. So black amethyst is actually just really deep dark purple. Um, I think it does have minerals of hematite and iron in as well, which may cause it to be darker than usual amethyst. Um, but this just has the most incredible sparkly druzy formations in this um, amethyst. So I just have these two little clusters here of this Labradori which kind of looks like a hedgehog to me like the way it's like shaped and then it kind of looks like it has a nose um, an eye and a mouth I don't know I feel like I can see a hedgehog in this and then I have this um, amethyst now this amethyst I've had for more than 20 years again with the small tumbles I showed you I had this as a child so I've still got it to this day and I'm surprised it has its colour because I used to keep this on my window edge and obviously you're not meant to do that with amethyst in the sun for too long but it still has beautiful colour to it and it's probably one of my favourite pieces because it's um, very sentimental. So moving on to my rough natural raw mineral pieces. So these are specimen collector's pieces. Um, but before I start that I did forget my smoky quartz tower which has this amazing almost like a crackly effect at the top but super light golden smoky quartz this one so first i have this spirit amethyst so this is a um spirit quartz so sparkly this kind of looks like a paw print i think um but yeah super sparkly kind of like um has like a cactus kind of look to it then i have this clear quartz with black tourmaline in um i just love the way they're kind of like striped in certain places so yeah this is um clear quartz with black tourmaline so then i have a pink Amethyst Geode um, from Brazil, so absolutely beautiful cave inside here. Then I have this pink tourmaline, I got this one on holiday, um, really pretty, you can see all the pink tourmaline here. I have this blue fluorite, so you can see the blue fluorite here, with pyrite in. So this is quite a special piece. And you've got more pyrite around this side as well. I have um, green uh, apophyllite. Really cute small piece. And on the theme of Apophyllite, I also have this um, clear Apophyllite and pink Apophyllite. So you can see the colour variation difference. So this is Apophyllite, which is um, super sparkly. And then this is the pink Apophyllite. Then I have this beautiful pink 
Cobalto Calci. As you can see how sparkly and druzy this is. And what I love about this one is when you turn it round, it even has um, a part on the back as well. So beautiful pink colour. So then I have this smoky quartz cluster, which is super dark. It's basically black. Um, and it has the most amazing rainbow in this, which I will show you. Um, as you can see, the rainbow up here. I think because it's a, such a dark crystal and then the rainbow just really does pop. Like, this is a stunning piece of smoky quartz. Um, I really do love this piece. So then I have this piece of Aragonite, which is super sparkly. Again, I got this piece um, on holiday a few years ago. So I have this amazing um, piece of red amethyst. So red amethyst is very rare. Now you will see the root base here of the amethyst, which as you can see, it changes color here. So basically red amethyst um, is basically a combination mixed with hematite. So amethyst with red hematite gives this deep red hue. So it just has higher level amounts of that in this crystal, which is why it makes it red. So it's actually called red amethyst. So then I have this amazing specimen piece, which kind of looks like a fish towel, doesn't it? It kind of looks like a fish. Um, so there's so much going on in this crystal. So this has golden mica, um, lepidolite, purple mica, um, black tourmaline, pink tourmaline, green tourmaline, um, aquamarine quartz and smoky quartz. So it's got so many different minerals um, in this piece. It's so, so pretty and I just love all the colours in this as well. It's so unique. So then I have this um, Australian boulder opal and it's insane. This is a rough piece and you can see all the opal colours in here. And I probably said this before, but I'm obsessed with opal, um, Outback Opal Hunters. I love that show. So, um, yeah, this is a beautiful piece of Australian boulder opal. Um, I think this is from Queensland. I forgot to add this in my towers, but this is another opal and this is um, a rare cut. So this is actually um, an Andamuka opal from Australia. Um, hopefully I can pick up all the colours in this opal. But it's like a lot of greens and blues. It's so, so dark, it's not really showing up the back of the crystal. But, it's, but she does stand. So then I have this amazing um, green gypsum, so this is green selenite, so this is all natural, uh, all natural colour, um, it's not been treated and it literally looks like grass, so this is so delicate so I have to be so careful with this, um, but yeah it's super rare. Um, I have another um, boulder opal from Queensland. Super beautiful, bluey green colours. And then I have this amazing um, boulder opal from Queensland. This has the most amazing electric blue colours in this. Look at that. It's so tempting to have make this as a necklace because it's so beautiful. Um, I have another beautiful opal from Queensland. This is uh, it's got a lot of like stripy patterns on this one. So then I just have this um, little box of mixed opals in here. 
these have some beautiful fiery colours in. Uh, these are Ethiopian opals. Um, wow, look at this one. So yeah, these are Ethiopian. Um, we've got little cabochons and then I've got this little mini tower from Mexico. So this is a Mexican opal. So lastly, I'm going to finish off with the tumble stones. Um, I have quite a lot in this bowl and I basically use them to sleep with under my pillow with this little pouch here. Um, I do have another Ethiopian opal. This one is slightly smaller than the one I showed you earlier, but it's still a big opal as you can see. So many beautiful colours in this Ethiopian opal. So I'm going to try and go through these quickly. So I have a Chalcedony from uh, Gran Canaria. I have um, a Kiwi Jasper. Um, I have a, a Oodalite, the rare tumble which I have in towel form as well. Um, I also have a uh, Kakorkite. <laughs> it's a very hard to pronounce. Um, I think this is another rare tumble. I have a crazy lace agate, a super pretty band in on this one. I have um, a meat shrine, which is um, amethyst with citrine in, as you can see, beautiful rainbows. I've got a fossilized uh, heart. I've got K2, which is a newly kind of new crystal k2 um, i have lepidoli i have howlite i have scolosite which is amazing to um sleep with it's amazing for dreams um rhodonite uh sharite Um, I've got a Cinnabite, I've got a Garden Quartz or a Lodolite, uh, beautiful, it has a little um, rainbow in here as well. Um, I have Sodalite, I have Black Moonstone. This one has a silvery flash on the tip. Um, I have a violet flame opal. I have um, Merlinite. Super pretty. Uh, we've got Moonstone. I've got Rose Quartz. Rose Quartz Heart, I love the pattern on that one. Um, I've got a Fire Quartz. Again, how cool is this stone? Oh, it's amazing with the pinks and oranges. Um, I've got a Pink Opal. Um, I have a... I have a Shiva uh, Lingam. This is a polished one. I have a snake skin agate. Look how cool the lines in this is. Like snake skin. I have a fluorite. It's a heart fluorite. Uh, this one is a... is this a pinolite? I have a prainy tanzanite, so super hard to pronounce. It's a beautiful um, purpley colour, quite rare. Um, I've got a clear quartz. Um, I've got a, a tree, tree agate. I have a strawberry quartz. Um, I have a lapis uh, lazuli, I think. I have a sunstone. 
I have a pink agate. I have a rainbow hematite crystal and this one is actually all natural. Um, this is not treated, this is naturally found like this. So this is absolutely amazing. Lots of rainbow colours. And then I have this beautiful um, pietasite crystal. As you can see it's got lots of the tiger's eye in this one. I have an amethyst. I have um, selenite, I have tourmalated quartz, so this is tourmaline inside quartz, I have smoky quartz, and I also have um, a labradorite. So one of my all time favourite pieces is this um, rainbow Latisse sunstone, so please excuse the next clip because I keep getting tongue tied, but this is called rainbow Latisse sunstone. And then lastly, I have this um, Sunstone Latisse Moonstone. So this is incredible. So look at this. This is the perfect crystal to end this video on because it has so many rainbows in. It has this crisscross Latisse effect. This is super rare from Australia and super <laughs> expensive. So this is and it's super hard to get hold of in this kind of size so this is classed as a large piece and look at this absolutely incredible so that is my whole crystal collection um thank you so much for sitting through this if you sit it through all the way to the end please give the video a thumbs up i really would appreciate it um, common questions I get asked is where do I buy all my crystals from and I buy them from Etsy or Instagram so I go on to crystal live sellers and I watch crystal lives or just buy direct from crystal sellers and that is how and where I buy all my amazing beautiful crystals from so yeah thank you so much for watching this video um, don't forget to like comment subscribe and I'm sending you all so much love and light